And it's been a year since our local heroes from SEAL Team 6 killed Osama bin Laden. But sadly, others are still stealing SEAL's honor, making up stories that they too are decorated Navy commandos. Investigator Mike Mather checked out the elaborate claims from a man in Middlesex County. This is Brian Leonard Krigmer. If you look at his Navy SEAL t-shirts and tattoos, you'd bet he's just who he says he is a retired Navy commando who faced terrorists in combat. The memorabilia at his house in Middlesex County, his frequent tweets to CNN reporters, his Facebook photos and military discharge papers, all show a man who fought for the country as part of SEAL Team 2 and later SEAL Team 6. They show a man who has never run from a confrontation until now. Are you Brian Krigmer? It's not really a question. I've spent a month digging into his claims, and I know it's him behind the wheel of this pickup truck, no matter how quickly he rolled up the windows. He's had a lot to say on the Internet about his career as a Navy SEAL sniper, but not much to say about it to me. Can, can you talk to me for a second? Maybe that's because there are no military records, none at all, that support his story. No documents or evidence that Brian Leonard Creekmer of Twigs Ferry Road in Middlesex County was ever a SEAL. Why are you claiming to be a Navy SEAL, sir? This house in Middlesex County belongs to Creekmer. It is filled with military medals, patriotic plaques, and impressive Navy SEAL uniforms amassed, he says, from two decades as a Navy special operator. He's posted pictures of it all on Facebook. And on a real estate website offering his house for sale, you see the same collection. Notice the life-size trident against the wall. Creekmer's tall tales of Navy SEAL service unraveled when he was wooing a woman through the Internet. He was telling her he loved her, and he was sending her real estate listings for houses they could share. But when she couldn't verify any of his stories, she started searching the Internet for information on fake SEALs. Hell hath no fury. He said it to the wrong woman and uh, she contacted me. Chesapeake's Don Shipley is a retired SEAL, a real one. He has a database listing every single man who ever completed SEAL training. Brian Creekmer, is he a SEAL? No. Shipley broke the news. I did feel betrayed. I, I was very upset about that. To double check Shipley's information, I called Navy Special Warfare Command in California, and likewise, they had no records Creekmer ever graduated SEAL training, and that is the only way to be a Navy SEAL. But with a woman online, he insisted he was the real deal. This is from their first Facebook exchange. Have many medals? LOL, meat eater. She's talking about pictures on Creekmer's Facebook page, including this impressive shadow box calling him a true meat eater of his time and one of the most skilled snipers of his era. It also features insignia from SEAL Teams 2 and 6. I did stomp the earth for a while as a frogman. Frogman? Ground troop? U.S. Navy frogman equals Navy SEAL. And when he sent her email, here's how he signed it. Brian Kriegmer, United States Navy SEAL sniper, retired. He's gone above and beyond. He's a very strange guy. We found a biography for Brian Kriegmer posted online, and we can confirm the SEAL resume is 100% authentic. It's just not his. The bio actually belongs to this guy, retired Master Chief and real Navy SEAL Stephen Matalevich. Let's compare. Matalevich enlisted in the Navy in 1983 and then looked for every opportunity to take on greater leadership roles. So did Creekmer, word for word. In 1985, Matalevich reported to Bud's basic SEAL training, class number 134. Then he deployed to Central and South America. Creekmer, ditto. In 1989, Matalevich screened for and passed the arduous six-month training cycle at SEAL Team 6. Creekmer, too, again, word for word. They had the same assignments, earned the same medals, even went to the same civilian college, Excelsior College in Albany, New York. But Excelsior has no records of Creekmer attending. The retired Master Chief, who still lives and works in Hampton Roads, told us he's outraged someone just lifted his resume. But he's more angered someone is pretending to be a SEAL in the first place. That, he says, is a dishonor to all SEALs. 
And before you get the idea Kriegmer is just bragging to the ladies, you should know this. He routinely corresponds with CNN reporters to offer his opinion and expertise on military stories. Here he tells Soledad O'Brien about all the death he's seen in combat. She resent his message to her more than 140,000 followers. CNN would not comment for our story. The woman says when she first questioned Kriegmer's claims, he sent her his DD-214. That's a military document detailing a service members' assignments. She sent it to us. As to his Navy SEAL assignments on this line, both Don Shipley and the members of Navy Special Warfare Command say it's simply not true. And it turns out the rest of it is also false. Naval Personnel Records Command confirmed to News Channel 3, Creekmer never served in the Navy, not one day. So, did Brian Kriegmer ever serve in the military? The National Personnel Records Center sent us this document. It shows Kriegmer enlisted in the Army in 1984, and he was at one time promoted to specialist. But when he was discharged in 1990, his rank was lower, private first class. And that's it. Records reveal no other military service. Shipley doesn't know why Kriegmer is doing this, and of course, Kriegmer didn't tell us. The most common reason, Shipley says, is to gain trust either of women or of people with money, sometimes both. While some of this is, uh, you know, amusing at the lengths a clown will go, uh, you're saving a lot of people a lot of trouble. He's up to, you know, no good. And to expose that, you know, is a, uh, is a huge deal. Well, we obviously tried to get his story in person, and later we also called his cell phone and sent him emails to a personal address and to a business address, just asking him to explain his side of this. His phone did not take our calls, and he never replied to the emails. And after it became clear his stories were not adding up, Brian Creekmer canceled his Facebook and his Twitter accounts. Live in the control room, Mike Mather, News Channel 3.